Are y'all ready to watch a bunch of dudes in tight spandex just sweating and grinding each other and oh, oh, the amount of gay jokes we'll be making, truly BL, Blue Lock, we're in it. Season 2, the U20 arc is supposed to be like one of the most hyped sports arcs in sports animes. I don't know if people are just glazing, but let's find out. Backstory, backstory. Oh, brothers! Rin and... The Big Bro. Bro. No, Big Bro, not like this! No! It's looking like Big Bro is already just leaving, right? The suitcase is all packed up. This is like one last match between, you know, Big Bro and Lil Bro. They probably were like wholesome siblings that love soccer. But now Big Bro's going to like the big leagues and Lil Bro is like, no, how could you have left me? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What, whoa, 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 what happened there? That was like a back to back to back. One, two, three. <laughs> wait, was, was that actually Zawarta though? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Is, is there some kind of time component? Because, like, yeah, in this show, there are some bullshit powers. There, there was some sound effect there. <laughs> did he truly stop time there? Or did it seem like time stopped there? I don't know. <laughs> time altered. Double XL. Yes, the smoke right now, I'm smoking weed. It's a fucking tea. So many people question it, bro. People are like, yo. What is the fucking smoke coming out under your screen? Are you smoking? You're not supposed if I'm drinking tea! Fuck you! <laughs> Big bro, why are you leaving me? Oh, you in a way! Oh! This is different! He's back! I thought like he's about to leave, but he came back for four years after some kind of training camp. And now Rin is just washed? <laughs> That's why he has the, you know, the big bro complex. We saw in season one of how much there was like, I will be an Avenger. I'm not here to make friends. My goals are different. I have one person I need to kill to avenge my clan. <gasps> 1600. He's 186 centimeters? Damn, that's really tall. That's like over six foot. Like a Japanese high schooler. That's, you know, most dudes are probably like, probably stuck at like 170. Mr. Ego. <laughs> The other exact boomers. Ever since <laughs> they treated this like as a fucking nuclear codes, bro. Oh my god, confidential information about high school soccer players. Okay, ever since Itoshi Rin started playing soccer, he's held a special admiration for his big brother Itoshi Sai. Sai's presence has played a big role in Rin's motivation for the sport. However, in the winter of Rin's third year of junior high school, he started becoming stricter with himself and ended up alienating others as a result, most likely due to what happened with, you know, just the intro scene back then with Big Bro just like saying, what the fuck have you been doing for the last four years? Rin shows clear hostility towards Itoshi Sai, his Big Bro, and it can be surmised that his current motivation stems from a desire to surpass his brother. Further investigation is planned on the matter. I wonder how this, like, conflict between siblings will be handled. Will it be, like, him... He says he wants to surpass, but maybe he just wanted Big Bro to, like, look back. You know? He just wanted Big Bro's acknowledgement. It was, like, and they hug it out. Will it be that kind of ending? Dude, this guy only cares about money. Bratsta. Done yapping, yes. Yes. I don't know how, but like, an arc like this can't end with us losing to U20. This is supposed to be an impossible battle, and the stage is set to be one of the best, like, sports arcs in anime. So, yeah, we're gonna accomplish the impossible. Middle screen is us, left screen is U20. <laughs>
Tryouts。Here we go. Can Temple Monk please make it to the team? I don't know how his ass made it here, to be honest. I have no clue what he's about. He just seems like the most normal, just like, you know, mid-person. But I have faith that he will pop off amongst all these, like, other fucking greats. You die! You die if you fail! Man, this is so nostalgic for more than one reason. Because this is about two years ago. I remember roughly around the same time as Canadian Things Games, which is gonna come up in a week or two. This is when I restarted my channel. Kaka TV right now. This is not my first channel. I had to delete my old channel due to copyright shit that I don't know how to deal with. And then I started a new channel. And then that season, Eminence and Shadow was airing. Blue Lock was airing. You know what else was airing? Akiba made war! And I got a fucking copyright strike for it immediately after I started my second channel. And I was like, shit, should I just give up? I'm cooked. And I said, you know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna appeal. Then I learned how to beat the system. And then now I'm just good. Bro thinks he's the main character. Chance to know, I got that. Uh, Raichi, I remember him being just like super feisty and being like a really great defensive player last season. What does it? Masako, this is the one. Gagamaru Giga Chat. Um, all I remember him is like he has a really high jump and his body is like tall, so he goes for long dives. And he always like fucks up his face to get like an incredible header or something. Ah, Does it make sense for Gagamaro to be the goalie then? Right? Having that wingspan, having that height probably helps. It doesn't make sense that a bunch of strikers need to like play defense. Like, what are they all gonna do? Just all just fucking stack up to the front? Makes no sense. Who's gonna be like defender midfield and stuff? <laughs> I love this guy. L'Oreal shampoo fucking poster picture boy. He's just always sparkling. He's supposed to be elegant. This is like super strong guy, but super like timid. Has like no confidence until he starts actually fighting. And this guy just Mr. Eleganto. I'm sorry for yapping. Rin? And then I, don't, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know how everyone sizes up here. Isaki should probably be there. I would hope that my King Baru is on there. I, be, I feel like Zesty Demon will be on there because he's so important. The rest I have no clue. Rin, number Ito one. Shirin. The true main character of the show. Suzuki number two. Zesty Demon! <laughs> what? Kapow? Babion. Okay. Sonasugoi no omae. Omae ga ichi de ore ga ni. Ya. Zok zok suru. Zesty. Kara stari to. Who? Who the fuck is this guy? He has a beauty mark, like Lancer from Fate Zero. Okay. This guy is the one that called Isagi like, you're dead weight, right? Yeah, from the trailer. Karasu. Number four. Who? Otoya Asia. Basically, Rin's hairstyle, but green bang with silver side. Number five. Who? Yukimiya Kane. Hi. Koe. Megane is that good? Megane gonna do this shit? Okay. Is Isagi gonna make it top six? I guess the world really is that big and we never really knew how like mid we were. And this is like the different, you know, Blue Lock, the project, there was many different facilities. At a certain point, 
there was a bit of a lie, right? And how many people actually were participating to make sure that you wanted to be the best you can be. But there were different like groups that we never really interacted with. So I guess these are like the number one from theirs. And Rin is basically the number one from ours, right? <laughs> Temple Monk! Temple Monk? Or Nagi, or Baro. Fuck Isagi. Well, I don't know why I'm being such a hater today. Nagi! Nagi hey, one of us made it in! Let's go! He deserves it. Nagi deserves it. Megana, you wanna ask that? Are you sure? I, I mean, he's kind of trying to debate why it's like, you know, fifth or first. Is Ego just going to destroy him with pure logic? I wonder, can, and these dudes are obviously way stronger than U20, right? Like, this isn't a different fucking caliber of power scaling, am I correct? Or am I wrong? Because, like, this is the world stage. U20 is just best of Japan. And this is the fucking world stage. There should be an insane gap in power. So, it is kind of crazy how at the end of Blue Lock Season 1, they just, like, casually dropped these dudes. When, like, we didn't really know. All I was doing was laughing at their broken English. I'm sorry, I found that so fucking funny, which is probably... Very mean and rude, but like these dudes are super strong, and only Rin and Ryusei or something, Ryudo, that guy like got a goal on them. <laughs> yeah, he does model, I guess. <laughs> so not only is it like pretty, he's smart. Okay. What are those eyebrows? <clears throat> Bro, that guy's eyebrows are like literal crocodiles. Look at this. Is this supposed to be like a dragon or like an alligator? This is the mouth. This is the tail. Holy shit. Okay. okay. Why is that guy's tongue always out? Your zesty demon ain't being the allegations. Maybe Rin? I don't know if Rin did this in season one, but you know in the opening, he has his tongue out. <laughs> Maybe he learns from a zesty demon. I don't know, because it's already out for him, right? Maybe he'll learn a little bit from him, and maybe he'll learn a little bit from him, but I feel like we should join this team. This team is probably going to be the most OP. It's number one and two. Six no one chance. One chance. One match? Alright. How many people actually play in an official soccer match on the field at the same time? Is it 11? Sorry, my soccer knowledge is fucking doo-doo. But if there are six people here, how many people are we trying to select right now? So it's five people, including goalkeeper, right? Including goalkeeper, it's 11. So out of the six here, basically one is going to be goalkeeper. Then it's going to be four actual like other members on the field. Okay, all right. One match de son. Dude, something's changed. Was he always like this? Maybe. It's been a while since I've watched Blue Lock, but Temple Monk is not backing down. Like, I don't think he's gonna make it. Like, it's really hard for me to believe that this dude that pretty much did nothing in season one, and then all of his feats got off screen, and now he made it to this stage. You're letting me know that he's supposed to be competing with the likes of Baro? Like, that's crazy to me. Oh. oh, one more mechanic. One, one of you played two games. Lucky. I love how Naki and Bachira all are just ahead of Isagi, bro. Just like our homies just getting the fucking spotlight. Bro thinks he's the fucking main character. Where's Isagi at? Him and his schizo friend. Yeah. yeah, exactly, right? These are all our group. That's so sad, because like everyone else, I'm sure Dr. Cream of the Crop in their different groups. And then within our group, all three got fucking recognized. <laughs> and then Isagi, bro, what are you doing? 
トップ6お前らは別室あくまでもこれは現時点での評価順だトップシーンがひっくり返ることを忘れるな、okay. さてとクリアの鍵は主張と共存だ強力な個性と特定を主張し替えの利かない存在として共存しろ、okay. そしてさ凌駕してみせろ Okay, we're no longer devouring. We are subjugating the season. Top 6 is a common thing. This got more gay. Subjugate them. It's like BDSM. Like, you want to dominate them, bro? Like, like, <laughs> subjugate these dudes, bro. Make them yours. <laughs> What the fuck? Top 6 is a common thing. Maybe it's not a good idea just to go with, you know, the top one and two, right? Rin and that Ryusei guy, or Ryudo guy. Because, like, it's all about you need to synergize well with them. Like, basically, you need to look good in that cohesive unit as a five. And simply choosing one and two because they're the best. You might not synergize with them. So there's a kind of like a luck component. If you don't know like what they're about, it's kind of RNG. But if you know their styles and you know how to like complement it and fucking know how to subjugate them, then it'll probably help out, right? All right, we got the ramen bowls. No more. Remember the steak? steak <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I kind of missed this. The slice of life moments between the boys. That's right. We were Team Z before. I forgot about that. Where's the fucking cheater, bro? Iemon's done, huh? Like, Iemon literally will not show up ever again. He's out of blue lock. He had like one great moment. It was the play where it was like his eye is also like flashed and his like aura was happening as a goalkeeper. That's like a, it was like a last minute like scramble play. Gagamoto was hyped too. Everyone, there was like three separate moments of like clutch, almost like goals happening. Besides that, I don't really remember much about Iemon other than him being like kind of like the reasonable voice of the team and kind of being like a captain. But I guess he's done now. The hero. It's the straight shoot hero, Ichigo Kurosaki. My man is too busy. He doesn't have time to, you know, fucking rehearse for Blue Lock because his literal anime is airing this same season, bro. Thousand Year Blood War. You, you think he has time to play fucking soccer when he needs to go save Soul Society? Oh, we got some lore. Zesty Demon got him. どうせ俺だけに試合。ルモとチーム the safe bet is probably Nagi, but like the high risk play is probably Rin. But maybe there's a third option that we're not even thinking about. Bro, just game. Yukimiya Kenyu, this. Yoroshiku. Yoroshiku, Megane kun. Tanoshimi da ne. Donna yatsu ga ore tachi o erabu no ka. Yo. Naka yuk shouze number one. His number is 111. <laughs> It's not even 11. 111. Three ones, bro. Bakatsuki? What? Kyomine. Explosion. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
もういいじゃんやれやれポンポンポン止めた方がいい What the hell is this guy bro? This guy is so weird too Do you like explosions? <laughs> I'm gonna kick you now もういいじゃんやれやれポンポンポン We got some freaks 止めた方がいいからあれもうけもいいやろ True? おりゃナギー just doesn't give a fuck 俺のせがやってんのはサッカーじゃなくてはいじゃれるな I thought Ego was actually showed up. <laughs> like Kakashi stopping like Naruto and Sasuke. But no, he fucking clapped through a fucking screen. Okay, um, what do you mean biological need? What do you, what do you fucking mean biological need? Also, this is extremely sus position. But like, hold up. I'm not here to just play soccer. This is a biological need? Is his whole thing like, I am superior genes? And by being best at soccer, I will spread my superior seed amongst the populace and the world will be a better society. Is that the angle this guy's going towards? Okay. Use each other, man. There is chance that like the top six can be toppled. Like, can someone actually replace them? Because right now I thought we're choosing like eleven people, right? So five extras. But it's sounding like you could technically replace the top six as well. So it's not necessarily five. Pe I don't know how this shit works. Because he said no matter what, you shouldn't let the others like replace you. The six is already in for U twenty, no matter what, though, right? Maybe like the positioning might change in terms of the number rankings, but I feel like these people are already like set in stone for U20. <laughs> this is our main characters, our supposed main characters' biggest, you know, debacle right now. Do I go for the cool mint toothpaste? Or do I go for the gentle toothpaste? Nagi? Rin. Nagi? Rin. Nagi? Rin? Rin. He's gonna choose Rin now? Subjugate too. Yeah, there's no second chance except for Bacha. That's so weird seeing him with his hair down. Every day, I guess he just waxes it up, huh? Like, that's so weird looking at him like this. Okay. That's the mentality, man. Good question. Damn, look at the romance, bro. Baro actually treats this donkey as someone that is like above him because in season one, you know, we did like correct him. He, we called him a donkey, and then like he is like, I wasn't the king. <laughs> It's that guy. He's still around, huh? Yeah, we're done. I don't think Nico's gonna make it, guys. No one's ever seen. That's got acne, bro. His, his bangs. It's all covered as acne. Now we know. Now we know. I don't think he's gonna make it through, though. Like, I just don't feel like this character at this stage, like, really? Like, will he actually make it through? There's so many limited positions and so many qualified, you know, players. I don't know. アピールするのはきっと簡単じゃない
But here's the thing. You go to safe route, is that going to pay off? It's hard. Going with Rin will be hard. There's a possibility you get buried. But if you overcome that, you look even better. Don't take the safe route. Don't take the safe route, bro. What? Now stop chasing Nagi, do your own <laughs> thing, bro. Nothing personal, just business. The retire the the job like the job this is the monologue that happens before someone becomes a jobber you know they're about to retire now i don't want to just believe that Rayo is done but like they've been cooking with this character but is this the is this the end for him too like this is just like flags for him just getting out just fucking picking a nine to five now <laughs> I feel like this guy is too obsessed with someone else that's not even him. I understand the whole backstory with Nagi and it all started with these two. But your obsession with them I think is holding you back. You should figure out what you want to do and push forward like Baro. I feel like Baro has like the best mentality out of everyone here. お前のおかげで決心ついたよ。きっと何が正解かじゃないんだ。どう正解にしてみせる覚悟。お、おお、that's crazy. <laughs> Mr. Glam has fucking double big day. When he goes to bed to maintain his hair. <laughs> Bro, he's 69? I saw number 69. <laughs> oh my god, Peppermint. That's right. So it was right. The toothpaste option. Gentle and peppermint. Peppermint was Rin. Gentle was Nagi. Bachirai's here. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. I actually want to see this. So this is everybody participating in A. Okay. Okay. I, I, I need more English fucking names, but I remember this guy. Baro is in the B team. Baro, right. C team, Nagi? Nagi no team ni wa zantetsu. They all did choose him. Oh, omae wa Nagi no tokoro o erandan da na. Try out to clear no da. Aits ra no aida ni watte haitte. Jibun no sonzai o dou. So shite kono tatakai no mukou ni wa Under 20 no Nihon daikyo ga iru. The end. Not yet. Hoi chan. Bald. Uh oh. oh. What the hell? The intro scene. You were talking with ego and saying money, 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 but it sounds like you want to fucking backstab us. He really doesn't want blue lock to happen. So, but what if the crazy nobodies gave you results for Japan to be on the world stage? He is so tied with, with, with... You would think that a guy that just chases money would only care about the results and have no like loyalty to whatever his players are. But like, he just says no to Blue Lock. I'm not gonna lie, I appreciate Blue Lock going out of the way to like make these boomer fucking executive characters like this. Hey, bro, even has a title, bro. Hoichi the earless man. Like, this is kind of funny. Sai! No, no, Oliver! Oh, shit. And 
Not yet. So she show me sir. Orita! End. Okay, blue lock additional time. So basically this is blue lock break time. Additional time. Alright. We're gonna get slice of life chibis, maybe? Audio. ソニンビ。ミリオン<笑> They'll point okay. to Yaro. demon guy. Zasti. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rin. They don't like Rin. Yeah. Oh, one more. Nagi, kun. Action meeting to have. I feel like a room of Nagi, Megane, and Rin would be super chill and like calm. This is too The other three, I feel like, are very volatile. This is a chill room. Alright, those are the rooms. Yes, yeah, says you. You both have fucking spiky head, except he doesn't have antennas. He just has like I don't know, his bangs just like shaped downward. This guy really does have antennas like a fucking bug. This guy is just so quirky. Otoya Karasu guy? He's just just fucking class clown. And that is today's Blue Lock episode. We're back. Season 2. It was a nice little bit of... um, Like, we're basically starting off immediately where we left off. And what are we doing right now? Selection for the team that's going to go against U20. Mr. Ego right now. There's some bullshit happening with the execs, the corporate boomers that runs like the Japanese soccer league. And we need to prove to them that Blue Lock project is not a waste of money. And to do that, we're going to have the ultimate strikers go against a U20. The top six are selected. And there's only five more people that can join. But I've watched shows like Captain Tsubasa too. It's a great soccer anime. You guys should check it out if you haven't. A lot of injuries happen so many times where like you need more. Like straight up, we needed like three separate fucking goalkeepers. Fucking Wakabayashi was injured for the longest time. Wakashimazu gets injured so Wakabayashi goes in. Morisaki fucking sucks. But like what I'm getting at is I think that there is more than just like five people that I think will join on the team. Because there has to be substitute. We if we like I don't know if Blue Lock will handle injuries, but if they do dabble with injuries, then we're gonna need more players to step up. So I feel like this like five slots is not an absolute thing, but right now everyone's trying their best. It's a one take thing, no second chances to make sure that you can look good. Except Bachira. Bachira's the goat, so you get to try twice. And that's it from me. If you're still here. And if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.